Hi guys and welcome to my cooking channel. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Vesna. I've got another two channels. I got Vesna TV and Vesna TV Home. On Vesna TV is where I do all of my DIYs, trash treasures, thrift flips, furniture painting, and then Vesna TV Home is where I give you my home tours, uh, showing you my before and afters, and do all of my hauls. And on this channel, I will be doing some recipes for you. So, um, my food tastes are inspired probably by my background. I am from Eastern Europe, so a lot of the recipes I make are Eastern European with a Canadian twist because I live in Canada. For today's video, I'm super excited to be participating in Domestic Diva Cooking's $10 Family Meal Dinner Challenge. Um, this is a great challenge that she hosts. And if you haven't had a chance to check out Sonia's channel, please make sure you check it out. She's got another two channels as well, her DIY channel and a home channel. Make sure you check out all three. She is an amazing lady and a fantastic cook. So um, you won't regret it. I'll have everything in the description below. So for the video, we had to create a recipe um, for one, two, three, or four people. Um, basically a family, whoever's in your family, uh, create a dinner for $10 or less and you could do one or two recipes. It was up to you and you could do whatever you wanted. So I'll show you what I've done. So I did an Eastern European recipe that my family really enjoys. It's, it's village meat when you translate it. And I did this under $10. The meat is pork tenderloin, if you're wondering what kind of meat it is. Um, I was able to create this for under $10, which was fantastic. Um, I paired the village meat with a salad as well as some home fries. So <clears throat> I'm going to tell you the step by step. So my meal cost $9.92. So I'll start off with the pork tenderloin. The tenderloin was 6 for the entire loin and I used half of it because it was about a kilo, just over a kilogram for the whole thing um, but we didn't need that much meat for the four of us so it, it comes out to three dollars and thirty two cents for the half and then so what I go ahead and do I cut up the meat and I actually because I was using it came into two pieces so I used the one piece for schnitzel and then the other piece I cut up into little uh, cubes that's what you're supposed to do um, so that I could fry them up. So just smaller cubes, nothing too huge or anything like that. Once you've cut them up, you fry them up. Um, I'm using a deep bowl because I want to um, be able to kind of saute everything in there. So you just need to fry them up so that they are um, just a light brown color. So they're not completely done, but pretty much done. Now this you don't have to actually fry up any of the stuff like the reason I do it is because I don't want the meat to dry out so much in the oven so I just kind of pre fry up everything I just to me I found that it's a lot juicier than if I tried to just if I just bake it all in the oven at once then you chop up I chopped up two bell peppers I did an orange and a yellow and I just chopped them up into not too small pieces, not too big pieces, just kind of bite-sized pieces, I guess. And I just took a small onion and I chopped that up as well into little pieces. Now, the onions, because I buy a bag of like 10 pounds of cooking onions, um, they're usually about $1.99 a pound. So one onion comes out to roughly five cents. So most of us have onions at home, but if you had to buy them, um, that's what that would come out to be per portion. Um, then the peppers, they were $3 for four or two ninety nine for four. So for two of them, it's $1.50. And then I did fry it up on a little bit of olive oil. Um, and one tablespoon of olive oil is roughly 12 cents. So when you're cutting the onions, just cut them like into not too huge of pieces but not uh, too small of pieces so you can kind of see what I've done there. Once you've cut up the onion you want to saute the onions and the peppers um, in the same bowl. You can use the leftover juices if you have them um, or you can add a little bit more olive oil. I wound up adding, um, not adding, sorry, not adding any oil at all. 
Then you also have to saute the mushrooms. I just bought cut up mushrooms. Um, they were a dollar per pack and I used two packages. Um, they're like the small packages that you get up, like that you get of um, mushrooms. So as you can see, it doesn't, um, it doesn't provide a lot once you saute them. And then you put everything into um, a deep baker. I use my Pampered Chef one, but you can use whatever you want. I use that one because you can cover it. So I put everything in together, the meat, the vegetables, then I mix it up. And then I bake it in the oven. Um, you bake for about a half an hour. So before you start baking it, um, you do want to put the feta cheese on. Now, I use feta cheese. The feta cheese cost uh, roughly, proportion, roughly 75, 75 cents. It was $6 for 400 grams, and I used about 50 grams. Um, but again, if feta is too expensive or you can't, you don't have it at home and you don't want to run it to the store, if you have any kind of cheese, you could just put it on top. The traditional recipe calls for feta cheese, but you could use, like I said, any, um, any kind of cheese. Then I went ahead and I cut up some potatoes to make french fries. So I have this handy uh, french fry cutter that I use. I think I got it at Winners a very, very long time ago, but I love it. And I added um, a tablespoon of olive oil into that as well. Um, and just use my air fryer to fry them up. Now, I only used about half of these because I saved the other half for another, like for the next day's meal uh, with the schnitzels. So for half of those, I believe it was nine potatoes. So for half of those, um, I would say roughly it would be about 60 cents ish um, again because I buy a 10 pound bag for $1.99 so for about four and a half potatoes you're looking at about 60 cents um, so I apologize but I don't have a video of me actually making the salad um, the salad I used romaine lettuce which was um, two dollars for two romaine hearts so I used one of them and then I used um, balsamic vinegar, and I used four tablespoons of that, and then um, another tablespoon of olive oil. So for the vinegar, you're looking at about 24 cents a ta uh, for four tablespoons, and again, 12 cents for the olive oil. Now I also added salt and pepper to the meat and to the salad to taste. I assume everyone has salt and pepper at home. If you don't, it's... The amount that I used is insignificant, let's say, I mean, it would be like two cents. So here's the finished recipe. Um, I portioned it out for my husband and myself, and then for the kids, I, um, I gave them a little bit less because they're little guys. Um, so as you can see, it made quite a bit of food. That plate is quite big. Um, it's very delicious, very filling, and I'm sure you'll love it. So if this recipe made your tummy grumble or intrigued you or sounded delicious, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button so you can get more of my recipes. I will try to post um, weekly or bi-weekly. Um, we'll see how it goes with all three channels. So, um, But for sure bi-weekly. Thanks for stopping by. Check out the playlist. Check out Sonia's channel. And have an excellent day and stay safe.